Hey guys, it's JG here back with another pick a card reading. How are you all doing today? I just want to send my love to you guys and thank you again for being part of the channel. Thank you so much for commenting, subscribing and bringing your energy here. Thank you so much for liking the videos and I'm excited to continue with the channel and, and watch it grow. I did add some new charms today, so I'm kind of excited about that to see what happens with the charms. So we're asking the question, guys, <clears throat> does my special person know that I am the one? Do they recognize me as the one? Do, are they feeling me? You know, sometimes you guys haven't met that person yet in the physical. So we're going to ask, you know, do, do they know I'm the one? Okay, so we have three decks. <clears throat> Honestly, this first one, what is that? That is the silver witchcraft tarot. This one, and this is the regular traditional Rider weight. And then we have the Radley Valentine um, doo -doo -doo guardian angel tarot. <laughs> okay, guys. So asking the question again, does my special person know that I am the one? Do they recognize me as the one? Um, if you guys do want a pr private reading, uh, be patient with me. But my site is back working, so you can book through it. So thank you, Lord. <laughs> um, thank you, universe. So guys, pick your pile. One, two, and three. And I'll give you a moment. Does your special person know you're the one? All right, let us dig in. Start with pile one. I'm gonna use some oracle cards too. Hey guys, if you chose pile one, this is your reading. If you skip the timestamps and it went right, or if you skip the intro and went right to the timestamps, then welcome to Earth 5D. Thank you for being here to, and I hope you enjoy this reading. If you like it, make sure you subscribe. And hit the like button it helps to get these messages out to more people which is it's awesome right share the high vibration all right guys i'm just shuffling here does your special person do they know you're the one right do they recognize you Cool. All right, guys, so we have the judgment. I usually put the major arcana up on top so we can focus on those. We have the judgment. We have the Ten of Cups. I would say yes, they know. They want to have a family with you. Ace of Cups. <sighs> yeah, pile one. Yeah, they know you're the one. Of course they do. They want the Ten of Cups with you. With the Judgment card, you guys know, for those of you who watch my channel regularly, that the Judgment card is, for me, it means that their angels have heard your prayer. So I feel like the angels have heard your prayer and you guys are, are getting blessed and united and you're getting a new beginning. There's a lot of emotion here. So your, your special person is feeling a lot of emotion for you. I mean, a lot. I can feel it myself. So they definitely know you're the one. Mm -hmm. Now, um, let me pick a couple more and see what else we get. I'm also gonna do some charms and get to the charms right away. Cause I got new charms and I'm excited about that. Okay. We have the five of wands. You guys have to let me know if you like this deck. I set it aside for a while because I wasn't vibing on it too much, but today I'm, I'm feeling it. I like that the Five of Wands is hand-holding. That's so cool. Like, what? And there's not even five people there. <laughs> so I'm going to take these also for, like, the images, right? We also have the world. Page of Cups. Mm. 
we also have the eight of cups wow there's a lot of a lot of water here i feel it I, I, either you're, you or your person are a water sign or there's just a lot of emotion running through here So your person might have, you or your person might have started with some need to really harmonize the, in the beginning, this connection, because I feel like it's really um, strong. And so I feel like you guys might have needed to harmonize it in the beginning, meaning like come to terms with the energy, because I feel like the energy is very potent. And with all those cups in the world and the judgment, I just feel like this person is everything to you. They, and they will be everything to you. You'll get this, you'll feel very, very fulfilled with the world card. The world reminds me of total fulfillment being card 21 and the major arcana. So it's like really having it all. You also might, he might be thinking or she might be thinking about having children with the child in the world uh, card in this depiction. With judgment, it is like a rebirth in the connection. So I feel as if you have, you're getting a rebirth in the connection. And I definitely know, or it could just be this, your special person is getting a new rebirth in life in general. And you're bringing that to them. So what started out as smaller feelings is getting much bigger. And I, I would expect communication with the page of cups. And also an overflowing of like new emotion to this connection so your, your special person knows that you're the one they want to have a life with you they want to have the world with you and they want to have the ten of cups with you which is a really beautiful happy family so with the eight of cups here they're walking away from this conflict they're walking away from yeah, feeling conflicted. And so some of them had had some time in silence. But now they're ready to come forward and, and, and overflow with communication. Yep. They have, they're feeling this rebirth and it's divinely guided with it. Cause this is like my angel, this angel Gabriel blowing the trumpet. And that tells me that you're getting help from the divine. Okay, Powan. So yes, they definitely know you're the one and any kind of conflict that they've had some inner conflict or kind of feeling defensive. I feel like that's gone. And now that what's left is just an outpouring of love. And what's changed, if anything's changed at all, it's just that you're getting help, <laughs> which is always amazing, right? So let me get a couple oracle cards here for you. Does your special person know you're the one? Help us to see the surrounding energy. There's so much energy in this deck today. What? Inspiration begin now so this person is you guys are bringing inspiration into the connection together inspiring one another i feel like you're inspiring your special person and they know there's a lot of passion here so because i don't see any pentacles this this might not be someone that you know yet it's like a, it's going to be so different for all of you because all of you are very all of you are very different and you're coming here with a different scenario but i really feel like uh, this this relationship for for like half of you hasn't been grounded yet you know it hasn't manifested in the physical uh, for the other half of you it has okay so just be aware that if you haven't met this person yet that they still know you're the one. <laughs> How do they know that? They just have an inner knowing, you know? You know, you know, they have an inner knowing. Okay. Just 
getting one other card for you. So you're being guided to let your light shine. So this is a time in your life where it's a time of great inspiration. I want to show you this card. So it's a time of awakening. It's a time to open your heart, okay? So shine brightly so they can find you. And if they have found you, then shine brightly anyway. So they recognize you. Right? But they, this is a, this is about wanting to have a whole future with you, a whole life together. And they, their heart is opening. I feel like it's a, sh a heart chakra opening. Your Dantian center in the middle is opening, and it's bringing them a tremendous amount of in in inspiration. And I also feel like it's really lighting them up as well. Pick our one now. Let's see. I'm just guiding. I'm. Looking for cards, feeling guided, just looking at my oracle decks and just pulling what the universe is telling me to pull. All right, let's see. What do we have? You make them smile. Yeah, your heart, you're awakening their heart. Do you see the heart shining? And that's what's happening with the Ace of Cups there. And they're thinking about marriage with you. Hey guys, so on the bottom here is flirt. So I want to flirt. <laughs> okay, let's get my charms. I'm excited because the charms are new. A lot of them are new. Some of them are old, but a lot of them are new. And I put them like in a bowl so I can um, really dig in. So, problem one. What do I need to know about this special person? Recognizing them. What do we need to know about them? Okay. Yeah, I mean, pile one, I really do feel like they want to marry you. And it's really interesting because I did see two rings. Maybe it didn't make its way out of the bowl. I saw two rings. So we have a B here, guys. So take these initials. Um, we have a D. Take what resonates with these as initials, maybe cities. Yeah. For affirmation and confirmation, you have a lot of angel support here. So from the angelic realm, and I really feel like this is marriage and you're bringing a lot of light in their life. The sun card here, this is the sun charm. And this is like a big sunny heart awakening. So you just, you take their life by storm. And if you haven't met this person in the physical, they're dreaming about you. They're feeling you're bright. They're, they're being guided to you from behind the scenes. They feel like a really sweet, like huggy, like teddy bearish. Like they want, they're like a teddy bear. They want to hug you and hold you. And they're, they're seeing your divine feminine and it's really bringing them inspiration. They're also like spinning a little bit here. I feel like this, Energy really isn't that grounded, but that's okay. This is a causing a third eye awakening and an enlightenment in your person. And it's really this connection with this button here. It just means that you're really stuck together. These two are symbols of being stuck together, you know, being stuck. Um, your souls are together. They're, you're, they're being brought together with, the, with angelic help. So they're not going anywhere. They're looking for you. And if they found you already, guys, for pile one, then awesome. Like keep shining, okay? Keep shining and um, yeah, just keep letting your heart open. Okay, Bowen, I hope this helps you. And if you'd like your own reading, my information is in the description box below on how you could do that, how you can book a reading at my website. And yeah, congratulations. This is a really beautiful energy, and I do feel like they are thinking about marriage. You got two signs of that. Make sure you drop a comment below, guys, and let me know how you're resonating with this message. And I hope you're having a wonderful day or night whenever you receive this. Bye for, bye for now, Pile One. We'll see you in the next reading. Okay, Pile Two people. How are y'all doing today? I hope the answer is wonderful. If you chose the Rider Weight deck for pile two, this, this message is for you. 
Guys, remember this is a general reading, so if you'd like your own personal reading to describe what's happening in your life with the, with your very unique dynamic with your special person, the information is in the description box down below. And you can go to my website and see the services I offer. Um, so we're asking the question, guys. Does my special person recognize that I'm the one? Okay. Clear the energy here. Does my special person know that I'm the one? Whoa, nine of cups. So that is a wish fulfillment. So right off the get go, that is telling me that they do, they do know you're the one. Hold on guys, I'm gonna grab a couple that come out here. We have the five, five of coins there. Three of pentacles. I think you work well together. It's like you've brought them out of a cold, out, you know, they were feeling really left out in life. And I feel like they were just really feeling out in the cold with love. And they met you and you just work really well together. For some of you, Pao Tzu, you've met at work. And they're just like, oh my gosh, this is wish fulfillment. Like this person is my, my wish come true. They see you as their divine counterpart. I can tell because I have the Hierophant here and the High Priestess. So this is a Kind of a match made in heaven, I'd say, in the sense that you're both on the same level spiritually. With the Ten of Pentacles here, they want to build a life with you. They want to have your wishes fulfilled and to be fulfilled. They think life will be fulfilling with you. So if some of you were coming from an energy of not knowing, you know, not being able to see, or they haven't been able to see that you're the one, something happened. And maybe you just kind of cut them off energetically. For some of you, that will apply. And as a result, or maybe you just let them be for a while. It's kind of like set some boundaries with them. I feel like this is energetic. You set some boundaries with them. And now they have this understanding that you guys work. You work really well together and you, you do produce really nice energy. And the result is the Ten of Pentacles. So they want, they know that you're the one. They want to have a legacy with you. They want to, you, you, you're bringing them, you are their wish come true. And so they see this, you as the, the highest divine feminine. And, and your, the Hierophant is, you know, a spiritually evolved masculine energy. And I feel like, you being with them is causing them an awakening and a spiritual awakening. And for some of you, they're thinking about marriage as well. So with the Hierophant, yes, it's a spiritually evolved masculine energy and it's also someone who's quite traditional. So I do feel like they might be taking a traditional approach to getting to know you and courting you. And if they're in a connection already with someone else, they're gonna do it the right way, you know? They're, to get out of that, the connection that they're in, pile two, they're gonna do it the right way and take a traditional approach, you know? So let them go through their process, pile two, that's for some of you. Your situations will be so unique based on all of you that are watching. But I, I feel like that's something that you'll have to kind of work through together. Um, but I feel at the end of the situation, the way it's gonna transpire is that they 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 want to make you the one. With these pentacles, I feel like this is someone you already know. With pile one, there's just a lot of cup, a lot of emotion and not a lot of grounded energy doesn't mean that they don't know their person, but with you, I really feel like this is something that's already been transpired. I feel like this for like 90% of you, pile two, it's someone that you already, you already know. And they, they know that you're the one. So right now, I feel like the two of you with the high priestess and the Hierophant are sharing like telepathic connection, spiritually awakening, your DNA together awakening, this high flying energy that you remember inside of one another. And because of 
this coming together and willingness to, to join together and kind of let this past go. You're heading um, towards total fulfillment with the Ten of Pentacles and having that legacy. Okay, Pile 2, so definitely this person knows who you are. And if if you're if you guys are still like not together, you will be. And if you are together, then it's just working its way to the Ten of Pentacles. Okay, guys, it's a very straightforward message. Energy is clear here. I don't feel like I need to get any other uh, tarot cards. I will get some oracle cards. All right, I had to pick the, the next one off the top. So it, it doesn't really change the energy. It's just another validation that they see you as their divine feminine. Or if you're a male, they, they see you in this high quality vibration, you know? They see you in this very spiritual way, actually. And I feel like for a lot of you, this is a marriage, you know? It will, either you're married or it's heading towards marriage. So let me get some oracle cards, guys, and I'm excited to get some charms because I got some new charms. Okay, pile two. And I'm pretty stoked to use them. I've integrated them into my pile, or to my um, bowl here of charms. What else does pile two need to know? Oh, wow, this came out. <laughs> so yeah, you guys are inspiring one another. So begin now. So begin now to believe that, you know, this person sees you. Or they are beginning now to see you as their divine counterpart, as their special person. And you can nurture this relationship by really acknowledging this. This connection is, is a divine connection, not just as an ordinary connection, right? Okay, guys. Let me get one more oracle card here. Yeah, so... With manifestation, like with all this grounded energy, with this 10 of coins, the five turning to the 10 of coins and also the three, it's like, yeah, this is, um, this is manifesting. Okay. So if you've been working on this for a while, pile two, it's, it's manifesting. It's coming together nicely for you. If either one of you were in like not able to see the connection and you were at an impasse, it left you both feeling not comfortable with that you know? And so now you're just like, okay, I'm cool. I'm cool to be together. I, I, I value you. I see, I know you, I know your soul and I want to, I want to manifest this. So yeah. And if some of you are still in that kind of over here energy, then uh, what you want to do is use your manifestation techniques. Cause this is, this, this is about He's, he or she sees you. He or she sees you as the one they know. Okay. And, okay, what's next? So I'm going to get some of my cards here. We're just going to get a little bit more guidance and then go over to the charms, guys. They do know that you are the one. So for some of you, if they are in a another connection, they're trying to get out of it and they want to get a look, get away with you, you know? They see you as their soulmate. And they're falling deep, pile two. <laughs> Thinking about engagement to you. Okay. All right, now let's get the turn. Hey guys, if you're enjoying this, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, we'd love to have you contribute your energy and we love to give you positive energy too here. What does pile two need to know? What does pile two need to know? Okay. Make sure you comment below guys if you're resonating with this. What's a lot of marriage today guys? <laughs> Universe wants to bring these connections together. This is very angelic. You have also an angelic vibe here of your angels really wanting to bring you guys together. I have a cue here for queen. Take what resonates in terms of the energy. A D. 
the sun again. So the sun is coming out and the sun is shining on your face and you both are being inspired. So I feel like you guys bring a lot of joy and bright energy to each other right now. We also have an A, an A and a B. They find you like very enchanting, you know, you're really, really inspiring them with the double divine feminines here. Um, cards, like they find you very inspiring, very enchanting. The Empress and the High Priestess, you're their physical ideal. Uh, again, a third eye awakening here and a grounding. This energy is getting grounded. Something that started small is much bigger here than you imagined. You might have thought you were taking a gamble. And also with this too, I feel like this could be things coming together real soon. This is February. Some of you are going to come here on the 5th and watch this. This is a timeless reading, so take what resonates. But feeling this passion here, feeling marriage and commitment, feeling guarded, like protecting you. A lot of passion here. And some of you started out with a rough connection. This, this is a rubber band. It's about bouncing back, you know. You guys are going to bounce back. The five came out again, so for some of you, this is like a May, someone that was born in May and who's a Taurus, has like a Taurus energy. Some of you, it's, you're dealing with sun, a sun sign. Yeah, I felt much more water in the first one, but that doesn't mean that there aren't water signs here as well. So guys, yeah, that's what I have for you today. Take what resonates. I hope it helps you. I feel strongly like your person knows that you're the one. And um, yeah, so enjoy it and just let this flow. And if there's things that you are you feel like you're not able to see uh, or your special person's not able to see, just know that your angels are behind this, you know, really wanting to bring this together. So use your manifestation techniques to drive that home, you know? All right, pile two. Thank you so much for coming by. I hope this helps you. Hope this serves you. That is my intention for sure. Whoops. And we'll see you in the next reading, guys. Bye for now. Okay, hey, pile two folks, how are you all doing today? Welcome to your reading. If you chose pile three, then this reading is for you. We used, you chose the Ravelry Valentine Guardian Angel Tarot. We are asking the question, guys, is my special person, does he know I'm the one? Does he know I'm the one? Does he have this awareness that I am the one? Is this on his radar? Is this in his conscious mind? All right, guys, clear the deck. Let's dig in. Keep in mind, guys, this is a general reading. If you want information into your own special person and your own unique connection, because not all of you can't have the same scenario, exactly same scenario. But uh, look, look in the um, description box below where you can see my website and I do offer private readings. Oh. All right, guys, these are jumpy. So let's see what happened here. <laughs> let's see how many we got. I'll probably take all of these because I have a feeling like the universe just got right to the point here. Okay. We have the Hierophant here. We have the King of Cups. If you hear like noises in the background, it's my kids. Out with the old and in with the new. This is the death card. It's traditional tarot. Seeing clearly. So this is the Hierophant. Wow. I'm sorry, not the Hierophant. This is the Hangman. I don't often see that in my readings, that card. Okay, we have the Nine of Thought here. The Nine of Swords. We have the Messenger of Action. This is the... Page of Wands, which is about communication. We have the Seven of Coins. So, wanting to work on the connection. And we have the, um, the Page of Cups too. So, 
I do feel like you're gonna, with the two messenger cards, I feel like you're gonna hear from your special person really soon, guys. Okay, pile three, so, I sense that you guys have a little bit more um, concern and, and anxiety <laughs> about your person and their feelings. And so maybe you guys have had some starts and stops in your connection, pile three. And that's caused like quite a bit of concern. Like, God, is this really the one, you know? Um, could he really be the one? Because I feel like you you are getting a, a new start, okay? You're getting a transformation in the connection. So you guys might not have started out knowing that you were the one, or you might have known that you were the one, but it, like I said, starts and stops. Take, you know, sleep, like a little bit of sleeplessness, you know, a little bit of concern. But what's happening now is that your person is able to see clearly. So, yes, they know you're the one because they're, they're seeing clearly now. They've had a transformation. Uh, they've let go of things that no longer serve. And they want to embrace those, or, so it says embrace those around you with the hair fit in this particular deck. They, so, it, because we're talking about a connection, a love connection, you know, we're talking about you. They want to embrace you. They're seeing clearly now. They let go of something that didn't serve them, whether it was a relationship, a, an energy, even if it was just a straight up energy that just no longer served, whether it was doubt, hesitation, fear, they let go of that. And so they're getting a trans, you guys are getting a transformation because they're getting a transformation. So with the Hierophant here, it's like really about waking up, you know, the divine masculine energy. So. The good news is they really want to talk to you about this. So with the nine of thought, you know, I do feel like this was a little bit Yeah, just just not, you know, just feeling anxious. So this card is saying not to be hard on yourself and turn your thoughts towards the positive. So no, there's no worry here, okay? Things are working out well for you. And they're going to come forward with the communication, guys. And I feel like they're going to want, they're going to tell you that they want to work on the connection with the seven of coins. And that, yeah, that they, um, that their, their love has grown with the king of cups. So they're not be, they might not be like overflowing, you know? Um, uh, externally with their emotions towards you, but internally they're, they have very strong emotions. So this is someone who, who loves you. This is someone who now sees clearly. So I feel like they didn't see clearly and now they do pile three. And why is that? Because they had, they had kind of like this death and resurrection. They had out with the old and in with the new and a new energy came in and now they want to tell you that they love you. And I also see a really nice transition from the Page of Cups to the King. So the universe is showing us, you know, a really nice progression. This is the beginning of a new emotional experience that could grow into something deeper. So they see that now. And they have passion for you. So they're feeling like a newness and they're feeling excited and enthusiastic okay and they're gonna say and so this is another have patience so just have patience with this guys because they do want to make this grow and they want to work on it and so you have nothing to worry about they see you they see you they they, they see clearly now that you are the one okay pile three very beautiful I like to see that this transforming transformative energy and that's that's what it feels like here. It feels like you guys have a little bit more of a backstory, uh, but they, but they see who you are now. Okay. All right. Let me get some Oracle cards guys. And then we're going to go over to the charms. If you like this reading so far, guys, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, we'd love to have you. Well, three peeps. If you're part of the channel already, uh, 
Thank you guys so much for being here. Very grateful. Okay, so with free spirit, I feel like this person has challenges with commitment. <laughs> they might have, for, that's probably for like 75% of you. It's hard to like pin them down, you know? But they're maturing and the universe wants you to know that. This person is maturing and they see who you are. They see clearly now. They took a step back to get a new perspective and now they, they see clearly. So this person is likely you know, beats to the tune of their own drum, as they say. <laughs> He's like a little bit free-spirited or she's a little free-spirited. So allow that person to be their own person. That's the advice the universe is giving you. And also, it's also advice for you to be your own person, for you to be your own free-spirit and this person accepting you as you are. They're wise enough to accept you as you are. All right. Get another oracle card. Wow, you guys got it's crazy. Um, so yeah, this is manifesting. Okay, this is coming together. For I, you know, yes, you guys know each other. <laughs> I feel like pile three, you know each other. There were some in the other groups, you know, it was a little bit more challenging to know if this had manifested in the physical yet. But um, you guys, I feel like you, you know, for ninety five percent of you, you already know each other. If you don't know them yet, and you come to pile three anyway, just know that if it starts out with a little worry, worrisome, you know, don't worry because this person is going to trans, it's, it's gonna, this relationship becomes very transformational for them. And they have a death, a death and a resurrection and they're, they're, they're able to see, okay? So let's get the charms. Actually, let's do this first. I'm gonna get my cards here that I made. Kind of like the romance angel cards. So um, I feel like some of you are irritated right now. Sacred union. Because all of a sudden I got really itchy. Like I'm, you know, scratching an itch. So some of you are like irritated that this person is still like in the hangman zone. Um, and they're still trying to see clearly. Like just just know that um, it's helping your person get, 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 the, get the perspective they need to work on this with the seven of coins and to manifest this for a long time. So expect communication now is what I'm hearing. Channeling to tell you to expect communication. All right, anything else? I keep shuffling, here's one more. Yeah, so your love is evolving. So this is, you know, the universe is telling you this is a sacred connection and your love is evolving. So they know who they know who you are. They they know that they know that you're the one. They're just they're doing some healing which happens when you have a special connection, you know, when you have a sacred union, when you have you need there's a need for them to love themselves and they do recognize you though as your, as their divine counterpart, okay? So, I'm going to get the charms now, guys. Make sure you guys drop a comment below if you're enjoying this. Hey. Charms for pile three. Let's see what we got. We've got some new charms that I added. It'll be interesting to see if they come out. Yeah, this is so funny. I added this dinosaur one. So this is like the divine masculine feeling cranky a little bit, like having to being a lot more the appearance of being a lot more cranky than they actually are, you know, but if they're like a little bit needing their space and they're, they're a little bit like in the, the rougher patches of the divine masculine, then, you know, let them have their time, let them, because they're turning into the Hierophant energy. So this time alone is helping them. We have a 10 here. So some of you might be dealing with a Libra or you are a Libra. We have a G here, a C and a W. Take what resonates for the initials. This person is actually very nurturing on the inside and you guys have a very special connection. And so no matter what happens, like you guys are connected. Um, here we have the, it's a, an archangel looking out for you, bringing a lot of transformation. I feel like you guys like the water, the beach, something about being near the ocean will help you 
sun, fun in the sun, you know, will help you guys. If you're thinking about a trip or if there's any way you connect to the ocean in some way or ocean music or, or to get some additional sunlight, it's going to really help you to lift your spirits and to manifest this. So with the manifestation, if you guys are haven't yet, it'd be good to continue to see positively the man, the positive manifestation of this, if this is something you want to create and to work on manifestation techniques. So with this, there's a lot of warmth between you. It's like you guys are each other's teddy bear. There, there's the possibility of you really warm, warming each other's life up here. They're now seeing clearly again. So this is my clarity charm. So two people, it's two cards, two affirmations of, of seeing not cards, two signs, a charm, and a card of seeing clearly. So you have a, there's a lot of angelic help in the reading today. There's a lot of help from the other side. So this is wanting to bring you awareness that there's magic here in the connection and your person's seeing that now. They're taking a different approach. Okay, they're seeing it differently now. Just feeling if there's anything else. Nope. I think that's what I have for you today, Pile 3. I hope you enjoyed this reading. I hope it served you. That was absolutely my intention. And I wish you all the love and light with you and your special person. And I hope to see you in the next reading. Bye for now, guys. Lots of love.